Hello there, and welcome back to the Natalie and Dennis Show. Your favorite podcast on the internet, Spotify, Apple, everywhere you listen to podcasts. <laughs> Fridays, 4 p.m. Friday. Eastern Time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Gotta do it from the start, from Happy the jump. Happy Friday, everyone. Honey, we keep interrupting each other. We, I, th- I don't think we'll learn until many episodes in. I mean, we're only a few episodes in, right? We're 19 episodes 19 in, or 20. episodes. Oh, my god! I actually think this is episode 20. <gasps> Wait, that calls for like a special. That calls for a celebration. Yes. All right. So what do we got for today? Let us know. So we have a fun, action-packed day where we're going to watch a lot of TikToks, react, Talk about what's going on on the internet. We have a couple challenges. We have the Sprite challenge. Which I'm not excited about. Which which we don't have Sprite for. We have Dr. Peppers for some reason. (laughs) And then we're also going to try to do our best Michaela impression. Michaela? We're going to do the Kim Kardashian. Oh my God, no. (laughs) We're going to try to do the the best impression we got. You're mean. Well, it's part of no, I like it. internet I like it. culture. I, d- I definitely want to meet her. I don't want her to It's think not that about I'm being like mean. It's just like it's fun. it's fun. Yeah, yeah, that's a funny one. Okay, cool. How was well, your week, Natalie? Tell me what's on the top of your good. mind. Um, let's see. I started reading again. I took my Kindle out, dusted her out, and I started reading a book called uh, How to Die with Zero. And so it's all about how to die with zero money in the bank. <laughs> Ooh, damn. What do you mean by that? Because I feel like a lot of us are always saving for retirement. And so we just wait until we're old to like spend our money. And so this whole philosophy in life is like spend it now while you can and while you have the energy to. So I think it's kind of cool. It's made me rethink a lot of things. What about you? How's your week been? So my week is really good. My week is really, really good. Uh, (laughs) So yeah. Uh, I start learning about business. I start watch uh, how you are more strong with your with your brain. Oh. Uh, like John meeting with the people, right? Like sitting, como verse para que no caiga mejor una persona. I watch so many things like that. So I'm good. Wow, a lot of self improvement. Though business, That's business. That's so cool. What about you, honey? For me, what have I been doing? Well, hitting the gym again. That's not new. I mean, it's same old, same old. And then I got a haircut, which I had it in the last episode, so it's not that new anymore. <laughs> well, I mean, you cut it out of nowhere. Dennis's hair was so long. And here's one thing about him. He will not schedule his own damn haircuts. There's something about haircuts that I just leave to the last minute. You telling me I need to take care of my... Well, yeah, yeah, yeah the last with, episode. With my I skin, that, yeah. like, true. okay... Your mom texts me and she's like, meet it. And it's literally a picture of like all your hair on the floor. I'm like, oh, what is Dennis doing? I just got really desperate with my long hair. And I'm like, no. In the mornings, I'd wake up and it was just everywhere. I would look crazy. I was so over hats. I feel like I'm just going to learn how to cut your hair. Do it. I feel like it can't be that hard. How about how many weeks would that be? Like how five? about in like five weeks? I right? teach you, Natalie. You'll in five me, weeks. Yeah. <laughs> You can cut my hair live on the podcast. Oh my god! Right, you can cut my know, hair right here. I don't know if I want that pressure, honey. Maybe you just buzz cut me. It's really not that bad. Yeah, it's not that bad. You you got it, Natalie. Totally. I, I just don't want to be put on blast on the podcast. I'm gonna be nervous. Are you drinking a poppy? Yeah. And you're yeah. drinking that before we do the sprite challenge? Yeah, because here's the thing, guys. So I know you want to do the sprite challenge. Yeah. Right? But I have brought not five dollars, but. Another five, ten dollars, which I will give to either you or to that me or yourself. No, 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 no. See, I'm not doing this. No, I, no, no. You're gonna do it. No, you can't get no, out no, of it that easily. Listen, I'm gonna give this to what? one of you. <laughs> one of you, whoever wins and doesn't burp. Okay. No, you got to do it. Too, I'm, I'm a little worried for the sprite challenge. No, um, you got to do it because here's the thing: it's a dumb challenge. Yes, I know. Let's just. Let's live a little, people, okay? Dennis's idea. And uh, we're just going to be burping the whole time. I don't want to be burping. You know, guys, we what we can do? What? Tell me. Llenarse la... No, no, it's muy... Usted ha escuchado el Sprite Challenge. Yeah, like, que no puede... No puede yeah, rotar. you can't burp. Okay, no, it's like... We can do for... Aquarium. 
Okay. <laughs> Aquarium <laughs> tank. Go full. All right. If you guys don't know what they're referring to, um, you got to check out the visuals on YouTube. We're messing with green screens at this point. David's in an aquarium. But yeah, that's how my week was, honey. So what are we starting off with today? So uh, before we actually start with the Dr. Pepper Sprite, whatever challenge, I have a couple of TikToks that I want to show you. Okay. Let's get into it. Okay. That'd be... Switch to my screen, please. Let me tell you, every night we have a ritual where we just watch each other's TikToks. Let me know if anybody else is like that. How do you feel about this? Okay. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell <laughs> no. Yeah. Okay. So the video is a little kid running to the car in like his undies and he's stabbing the tire. Yes. <laughs> Did you ever in your life do something to get out of going to school? No, honestly, my parents were really chill and they would actually just let me not go. So you, I, you just say, I'm not feeling like going today? Yes. And they would never be like, they're like, okay. But okay. to be honest, I didn't what? abuse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be you. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't <laughs> abuse it. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. So I never had that issue. Okay. No. Nope. I never really did anything to skip school. We were too, both you and I were too good. You think? Kids, yeah. Let's talk to the little devil over I think there. if I told my parents also like... I'm not feeling good. Yeah. It, it's it's a genuine I don't feel good. And like they would totally be okay with it. Yeah. I never like skipped any exam or anything like that. What about you, Davi? Okay. Me, sometimes I just my dad and my mom, damn, to skip school. <laughs> no for me. They wouldn't let you? No, no. It's, so I need be like enfermo, hacerme el enfermo para que no me dejaran ir. So how would you do that? How would you act like you're sick? <sighs> oh, dude, I feel so bad. My <laughs> stomach hurt. Oh, I just want to stay in my bed. And they would believe <laughs> you? <laughs> like that. Sometimes yes yeah, and sometimes no. Okay, but from like the other perspective, you're a parent and your child stabs your tire. If right, my like, child does that, we're going to be having a very serious conversation. On. That's a completely different that's aggressive. Like, yeah, that's next level. That's like you. J- I have to pay for this now. Like my tire is not. But also, like, where did that kid learn that from? That's it's true. like YouTube or something. TikTok. I mean, the courage for him to go out and do that, and in his undies, he he was he didn't give a fuck. David, how how do you feel? Lo casi I say the same. Not only say. It's crazy. I think we talking out. Deep conversation about it. Yeah. <laughs> Con la correa. No, no. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing, right? How, how, I don't know how to discipline kids. Cause for example, like Jupiter, right? He's like my child. So when Jupiter does something really bad, like goes to the toilet and gets, um, little papers from the freaking bathroom. From the trash. Ew. And then he's like, he comes back like his whole mouth is shivering. So, yeah, it's weird. It's fucking weird. And I'm like, <gasps> I get really mad at him. And I, I don't hit him, yeah. but I bring him close. I grab him like like a mom. You know how like a little mom dog grabs their, I grab him like this and I say, Jupiter, uh-uh, uh-uh, <laughs> Jupiter. And I'll like go like this to his nose, but not just Have like Have you this. ever hit Jupiter? I've never hit Jupiter. I've never. I've My never dad has either. though. With newspaper. I remember it was in the newspaper. Yeah, because Jupiter ate up all of our walls. You know, when they're teething? Poor yeah. little baby. The baseboards. Poor little baby. All the baseboards got messed up. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, that's what I would David, do. David, usted castigaría a sus hijos. Honey, I think you should translate because... David, yeah, would yeah. you hit your children? Yeah, I think yes. Oh my God. For my children, yes. Uh, I think he's... Mano dura. Like, I don't know. They <laughs> what the hell? You know, I definitely think it's a cultural Hard, thing. Hard-handed. I think it's a cultural thing. Because, like, my dad, he hit me when I was younger. But what? What are you looking at me like? No, that? no, no. I'm, yeah. I'm like, listen. Like, he would use the belt. Isn't that crazy? He hit you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He would use, like, the... Yeah, he... Used, da- I don't know. I, I know this. Sorry for but I me, did not know that your yeah, dad yeah. hit you. Yeah, yeah. But he, I was, like... I was honestly so little and I remember maybe like two, two times mm. it was when it happened. And I remember I cried, like I was so scared of him one moment. And I remember he was coming towards me and he like stopped and he started crying and then he never hit me again. So, but I do think it was a cultural thing mm. because my dad never like hit Angelica, not that I know of or anything like that. Why does, that, that why does my the, dad sound really Why aggressive. does the oldest kid always take yeah. the most of I the aggression. I just want to say something like I can understand them because that's how they were raised and stuff yeah. like that. 
and like it was never like horrible or anything like that and i don't believe in hitting kids so i just i just want to clarify that and my dad never because now i feel like i made myself look like <laughs> like i was no my dad that's was, why i was shocked because you like never shocked. told me yeah, that your yeah. dad hit you yeah yeah my dad hit me i was never hit luckily um <laughs> i know that there's like this type of parenting style that's like kind gentle. or gentle parenting mm-hmm. i think it works I think, but at the same time, I'm not a parent. So I'm not a know. parent, so I, I don't, don't have know. to worry about that. Yeah, I don't have. I don't know. That's a big decision. David, uh, David, usted le pegan más o a Christian? I'm asking if he got hit or more hit, or his brother. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> In me, um, for me, I receive all that shit. David was the, the bad one. So <laughs> tell me this. Channel. Tell me this, David. Because your parents. Did both your parents hit you or just your dad? Both. Both? Okay. So do you think you now think that you're going to hit your kids because your parents hit you? No. No for that. Just because sometimes you need like... <laughs> Yo, my stomach is growling in an in- anticipation for this fright challenge. <laughs> Go. Oh, okay, honey. Okay, help me with this because I need to explain in Spanish. Okay, what is it? Yo digo que hace parte de la educación pegarle. Pues no pegarle, pero como darle como, you know, como ese golpe para que como que cojan. Como que eso no se hace y tan y pegarle su palmadita. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's saying that he, you need to hit kids basically <laughs> <laughs> that's it he just gotta hit kids yeah i don't know i don't think we'll be able to hit a little uh, i don't think i'm about that i don't think so either. okay but that's okay to each their own i feel so bad right now <laughs> hey, me with a song a song a song before we hit the next tiktok go something fun we need a soundboard or something that's like more instant instant yeah. sound effects we just need to write it down okay next tiktok Let's show them. Oh my god, I saw this one. So she's <gasps> her luggage <laughs> fell into the ocean. I guess they were prepping to do a TikTok, and <laughs> she just wanted to go in like all like super nice. She's trying to do a transition, and I could see the vision, but then damn, she's probably in Bora Bora. You know what I mean? Oh my god, doesn't the wall just look so good? Like so what what I wanted to ask was what is like not the dumbest but like when was the situation where you were trying to do a TikTok or like a story and like you either messed up or you did something by accident? Was there ever a moment that you did something like that? <laughs> no, but I remember. Well, I don't know yet. That do you remember when you were trying to do those TikToks at the rock climbing? That it that you were like trying to make it look so cool from oh, the top. Yeah. I was recording him, and it was the first time I ever saw him like struggling to say like "Hola amigos," you know. He was like trying to like, but I mean, he was doing he was trying to climb, and like it was complicated. Sometimes it's so much easier to think that this is simple, but the moment the cameras are on, the lights are on, sometimes you just like you choke. You know what I mean? It happens. So that happens to me a lot. I like, mean, it's so easy to just blank out. No, and when you are live, when you are live, like it's when so you're live, oh my yeah. god, live is so hard. Which is something that we plan on doing, and it is a little scary. But stay tuned. We did say summer. It's completely fine. We'll see. We'll see. You can really mess up. Um, we're, still, we're still going towards that. I'm trying to think, honey. Um, I don't know. What do you? What there do you- was one scene in one of our vlogs a long time ago where I was vlogging at the mall and my dad's in the background. <laughs> it was so funny. It was so fun. So I'm with him and I'm like, just act natural. Just walk with me as if you're like not with me. Because that scene, I was supposed to go to the mall by myself. Yeah. I think I was going to get you something. And so I'm like walking and I'm vlogging and my dad's in the back just looking totally unnatural. <laughs> like, like, like he obviously looks like, I don't know. He just looks so uncomfortable. So basically just imagine many different clips inside of the mall and there's always this random man <laughs> behind him just like. <laughs> it looks like a murderer is going to kill was me. Saul, yeah. So Saul's like uniform is he's always in a polo. So it's just like this random man like walking very uncomfortably and it, it's just really funny so. that, that was really funny uh other scenes in which we've messed up filming what about you Abby? have you ever had a situation where you were filming and like it didn't turn out right no no i he's never. perfect 
<laughs> every situation's worked. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to think about. We've filmed so much in our career and like, obviously okay. we've messed up a lot. Well, yeah. Like I remember one time we were filming um, our announcement that we were going to go on tour and we were doing a Rosalina. So it was a very high production thing. Our editor slash filmer at the time, Alejandro, um, forgot to turn on the lights in the back. Mm. So when he got home to edit that clip, he had to like mask me to be able to fit Rosalina and then myself. It took him hours to do that. The absolute worst thing that can happen. No audio. Is no audio. <laughs> I That's hate so no audio or a corrupted SD card. Game over. I remember one time that I, I tr- put an, an SD card into the laptop and it was like file not found or something. And like I looked all over the internet <laughs> to figure out how to like recover that recover shit. it and unformat and all these things. And like, it's just impossible. Tell me how the worst thing that could happen to someone is it's your wedding. And the because I saw a TikTok on that where the, the videographer was Very like, common. how do I tell these people that Everything got corrupted. Happens all the time. That's the worst thing that could happen in life. That's why in the world of filming, you need what's called redundant media. You need two versions of the same thing. And a lot of cameras nowadays do two SD cards at the same time. Okay, here's where it can get complicated when it comes to filming is when there's a streamline of people. So, for example, when I used to edit by myself, yes, all the pressure was on me. But like in my head... I like I was like, this is the part I'm going to use versus like giving an editor everything. There's like pros and cons to it. I don't know. Anyways, that's much more advanced. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, I'm going to show the next one. So this is a big thing right now on TikTok. It's just people skipping. I skip every day. There you go. Dad, get up and skip. (laughs) I've seen this. And so it's just people. I'm not going to post trying to remember how to skip. And they're all so bad at it. I'm skipping high knees. We skip high knees in class. Okay. No, okay, wait, wait, wait. I gotta show. There's just like two more, just really quick. This poor man has so many skipping issues. He he is doing a little hops. I saw that one. It's just so funny. And Look you, at that. There's so much joy in skipping. Do you remember how to skip? I 100 percent remember how to skip. All right, show us. Okay. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if you remember how to skip. You're gonna have to kind of skip in place. Let's see. No, it's like it's like you can't see us in camera. What the fuck is that? I'm skipping. Oh, I got the- yeah. No, no, no. So that's 100 percent skipping. You're, you're doing that one dance. Nope. That one. That's actual skipping. Go this, skip. This is how you skip, guys. Uh, see a master at play. You're gonna skip in place. <laughs> Oh my god. Ready? Yeah, that's the same thing that I was doing. No, you were doing something different. Oh, you have a lot more room than I do. You're doing. No one was not doing that. What are you okay. talking about? David, do you know how to skip? I'm a master at skipping. No, I don't know. I'm not gonna tell you to get up because you're in a little tiny corner, but it's all good. So is there any other thing, Natalie, that you can think of right now that you maybe you knew before, but you've had trouble doing again? Probably writing in cursive. I was just thinking of that. But I feel like that's kind of ingrained, actually. Can you believe my whole fourth grade year I had to write in cursive? It was mandatory. Girl, we don't use cursive nowadays, and it was stressful. So when I was in swimming classes... We learn how to dive off of a diving board. Oof, that was scary. And it's like really high up. And like, I used to do it totally fine. You think you'll be able to? But there's no goddamn way I'd be able to do that right now. You think you'd get scared? I think I would be so scared. Oh my gosh. It was really high. Yeah, diving is scary. Like, I can't even, I'm trying to like remember that specific moment. And even doing it back then was difficult. And I used to do it often. I can't imagine doing it anymore. So you're saying the diving where you like go like this and then go down? Like Like you jump on it or no, you just. So there's like, you're you're on the floor outside the pool. You dive, right? But there's like a board, not the jumping one that's like, like bouncing. Okay. There's one that's like static. 
Oh yeah. Like yeah, Olympic yeah. sized. Like sure. it's like maybe like a couple feet, like maybe this table. Sure. And then you jump off of that. Yeah. And the thing is like the water is never in line with the top of the pool. It's always lower. So like from that position, it just looks so much taller. It looks so scary. I still remember the first time I had to do it. I didn't. I walked back down. <laughs> I, I like, mean, I'm- there's like a lot of things that I think when I used to be little, I used to be better at. I think. How it- about seven times seven? Go. 49. Five times six. 35 30 30 30 nine times three. Oh my god you're not getting me 27 <laughs> two times one why me okay <laughs> eight times eight uh, f- uh, 64 seven times six it's 42 <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard though because look at, in school multiplications they would make us do a hundred problems okay yeah. whoever could do it the fastest I cried. Guys, I was so bad at multiplications. And then guess how much it took me to do 100 problems? How long? Like 15 seconds. That's how quick it was. No fucking I way you did 115 you. seconds. Bullshit. I swear. That's like three three per second. Dennis, that's how quickly I learned my multiplications. Okay. People would raise their hand in 30. I'm telling you. We okay, were. Okay, you guys are fast, but like I doubt you did 115 seconds. No, I swear. Seconds. I promise. One through nine. Sorry, one through ten, not not no one through eleven. A hundred problems. Yeah, a hundred. Okay, I'm not I'm not gonna push that anymore, but I'm very. Doubtful. I did it. Ask my dad. I did it. Okay. I was the queen of multiple. We're gonna take this opportunity now. Okay. There's this went very viral. Okay. okay. Now you pay attention because you gotta do it too. I know which one it is. Okay. This TikToker <laughs> Michaela. You, everybody knows at this point. She didn't have this absolutely. Kim Kardashian had. <laughs> <laughs> okay, David, escuchaste como lo dijo ella. But you should have showed okay. the video of the people getting scared. Kim Kardashian. So, so the yes, whole thing. Kim Kardashian. <laughs> but you should have showed the actual video because that's hard to understand now. No, so this is the actual video. That's the original video. People got this audio. Yeah, people got the audio and they put it on like, like they just came behind other people and people would get scared. Like they're, they're pets, you, you know? You know, let's actually just look for yeah, it. Yeah, because like that's the whole thing. And can, some pets get really scared or babies get scared when they account? hear this. It's really, really funny. So Kim Kardashian had it. Okay. So we're going to try to see who can do the best Kim, Kim Kardashian impression. But show it first. I, I tried. Them. It didn't give me. Oh, honey. Because I feel like. Kim Kardashian had this. Oh, my God. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Why is this not? It's just showing me accounts. Oh, it's this policy thing. Okay, there we go. Oh, I got to sign in. I don't want to sign in. Come on. No, I okay, whatever. I can imagine it. But yeah. anyways, okay. We're going to do our best impression so what of Michaela. Say? Kim Kardashian. No, that's had, it. That's no, it. no, no, no. She said stop. something. Had this something dress. <laughs> Kim Kardashian had this something dress. I just want you to say Kim Kardashian. But... Okay, fine. You want to say it all? Go ahead. Yeah, because that's the whole point. Yeah, guys. that's not the go, whole go, go. point. But all right. Kardashian had this absolutely stunning, sexy look at the Met Okay. Gal- okay. Kim Kardashian. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. I could do better, guys. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Kim Kardashian had this stunning looking dress. <laughs> Kim Kardashian had this absolutely stunning. Sexy okay, look- I got it. I got it. Kim Kardashian had this absolutely stunning dress. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How'd I do, guys? Rate me from one to ten. You did pretty good. You did pretty good. Okay. Okay, Dubby. I'm going to play it one more time and then you can listen. Dubby, okay? sorry. Try to listen. Try to listen. <laughs> it, it's it's a Boston. It's a he Boston just, accent. Guys, I can't. <laughs> guys, I can't. It's so much for me. <laughs> I, I speak English, but... <laughs> <laughs> You're making him nervous. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, yeah, wait, yeah. No, no, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. Please, wait, wait, wait. guys, I can't. <laughs> I, I get so. Oh, mama, this is worse wait, than wait, English wait. class. This is great. This He's is great. Nervous. Okay, I'm gonna play. play. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna hit play. Wait, wait. Okay, last time. Hear it before you gotta do it, W. Okay. <laughs> guys, please. Kim Kardashian had this absolutely stunning. <laughs> Kim Kardashian. <laughs> I can do. Okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> that was not bad. It just, it's so deep, it hurt. Kim Kardashian had this. Kim Kardashian. 
<laughs> He's really hot. That was good. Okay. That was good. That was good. Kim Kardashian has this absolutely stunning dress. <laughs> you guys sound like old ladies. <laughs> It's I'm so not gonna bad. lie, that hurt my throat. Okay, I'm gonna ask you: Do you think it's a fake accent? Um, I think yes. Yeah. <laughs> she's like a character. She's a what? She's an NPC. An NPC? What's that? <laughs> a non-playable character. It's oh. just like, like she's just like okay. Um, I mean, I've seen videos of her not speaking in her accent, but Kim like. Kardashian. She says that it's because she um, would get like teased for speaking this way. Yeah, I think it's hard to speak like that naturally. So yeah, I hope that's her real. I think it's. Accent. I don't think it's real, but regardless, it's her thing. It's it's like <laughs> it's like when you're creating content, you just take on a personality. That's like it true. could just be her shtick, and it's totally fine. That's true. Well, that was fun though. Kim Kardashian had Kim, I gotta do it. Oh. Stunning looking. Kim Kardashian. <laughs> all right, all right. I think we're done. Okay, okay. We're done with that one. All right, moving in to. The Sprite Challenge. Oh, hell no. It's time. I'm Guys, gonna I'm going to give you this. You got to do it, Natalie. Blah, blah. You did not bring $10 to get out of the challenge. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you, All right. You have to do it. Really you have to do it. Then let's fucking do it because I'm going to okay. regret it. Ready? Let's Ready? open this now up. Stop it. Oh, my God. Right, we're going to start with the with the really fucking good cherry one. I just want to say, you guys. The cherry. Yeah, la grande. I just want to say. Y la chiquita. If anybody wants to unsubscribe at this moment, no, you may. don't. <laughs> no. Okay. That would be careful because if you, some people Hay gente like. Que se vomita. Vomit. No, 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 no. Some people spit it out. Yeah. Okay. So let's just be careful with with the stuff. <laughs> no, 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 no. See, I'll go and buy that. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You guys ready? So how does this work? We just you go just, fast? No, you don't have to like chug it, but you have to drink it all. Okay. No, tiene que ser rápido. No, pero normal, normal, normal. All right. I'm not going to give 10. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Okay. We're, we're going. <laughs> and then we have to say, Kim Kardashian. <laughs> 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 After this. Now you have to. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm Ooh. all right. I'm, I'm already feeling it. I'm feeling that gas. Is this hard to breathe? <laughs> No podemos eructar. No, no hay puede. <laughs> no burping, guys. Wow, this is hard. It's like ASMR. ASMR. Man, it's getting really hard to get it down. Uy. It's getting really hard. I have to burp. <laughs> Don't burp. Oh, that was, that was Natalie. That was Natalie. I had to. Ew, I hate that you guys are making me do this. I'm ruining my charm. Oh, it's getting really hard to drink it all. You guys really <laughs> don't have to burp? <sighs> That's we what I'm <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, go in. Go to your screen. Go, go full, full. We gotta, gotta put it full. Okay, okay. <laughs> so wait who's gonna win these ten dollars we're, we're gonna see if you don't burp you still have this come on come on oh my belly that must be hard it's oh, someone's at our door i wonder i bet your dad i bet it's my dad interrupting again <laughs> how are you guys doing you guys oh, are good i finished it, I finished it. I'm holding it. I'm holding it. It's there. It's there. I feel it. All right, it. all right. So now wait. Wait, before you do that, Kim Kardashian. <laughs> <laughs> what in the fuck? <laughs> now my dad walking in. He's like, is this what they do? All right. <laughs> Dennis. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. I have secondhand. I try to do so loud. I have secondhand embarrassment. My dad's downstairs. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> wow, that was crazy. No, that was bad. You you can hold your arm so much. Daddy, you stay como nai rutao. How is that possible? Okay, you won ten dollars. Good just, job. Que me lo trago. Daddy, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. $10 is mine. Hey. <laughs> wow, so that was pretty cool. Damn. You you know what? With water holding in your mouth and we can laugh and react in a video. <laughs> Maybe next time. Maybe on a TikTok. 
Oh, I got oh, a I that one is a fine. Burp, my God. You want to mute his thing? No, 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 no. I, I don't have okay, to. I muted you. It's okay, okay guys. I just, mute, I just burped away from the mic this time. Ew. Ooh. The studio is hot uh, and sweaty. Burpy. <laughs> and <they're> burping. <laughs> Not cute. <laughs> Not cute. When's the last time you did a challenge like this? Do you uh, remember? Yeah. Probably for my YouTube channel. I think the last challenge I ever did was a slime challenge with 1G. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> she, we, she had us like wrap her arms and then like make slime. <laughs> That's lame. It was. What, what the hell? <laughs> it was pretty lame. Well, okay. This is kind of a challenge. What will be a question? We what video do you enjoy more for do it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is bad. You gonna burp to burp it to the mic? No, honey. <laughs> Which video have I enjoyed the most uh, recording? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> No, 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 no. It's part del ambiente. I don't know why this one comes to mind. I filmed the video with Jupiter where we were trying a bunch of toys. The one with the Oreo thing? No, we were trying a bunch of dog toys, like gadgets. Wasn't that a, an Oreo gadget? No, nope. that was huh? another one. That was another video. For, that was a, another oh. kind of gadgets video. And okay. this one was for pets. And Got I remember it. that. That was, that was cute. I remember was cute. filming that with you. It was fun. Yeah, it was outside in the studio. Yeah. What else you got for us, honey? All right. Now we switch to my screen. Oh, my God. I love this video. about the day when I wake up and find the what you're looking for. So it's a girl and she's being held by her dad. Oh, you missed the best part, though. You know? Okay. Okay. Do it again. Uh, so you just start smiling at the end. It was just a very small but moment. But here's the caption. Can I read the caption? Sure, it go says, ahead. Have you lived if you haven't taken your daughter to a Taylor Swift concert? That is so cute. In a downpour with no tickets. That's, oh, so is he outside? They're outside of I the didn't concert. I realize that. They couldn't afford or that's get the tickets so and, he, and they still went. Can I just tell you, that's a core memory for that girl. I will never forget my first concert. My dad took me and I was that girl on top of his arms looking at Jesse McCartney. Jesse McCartney, your beautiful soul. It's like it will like forever. <laughs> it's so iconic. It's so iconic. I'm trying to think about if my parents ever took me to something. No, you were a sheltered child. Like a, you, you go a concert like a before, show. Dennis? Concert, yeah. Concierto que siga. Oh, yes. Pero es orquesta. Okay. Got like it. For, dan oh, for dancing that's and stuff. True. Your parents yeah. are the OG salsa they used, dancers. They used to go to all these things like Celia Cruz and stuff and like dance. That's so cool. But that, can you just imagine? That girl will always remember that. What a beautiful moment. What? I'm trying to remember. I, I always remember field trips with my parents, oh. like my dad. There's one specifically that it was uh, the Boston Aquarium. Oh my God. And I remember like, obviously blue and like the fish and like everything yeah. but it was so fun because it was like all my friends and then it was like my dad and then that's like a big memory for me you know, uh, it's always like there i always remember my mom too she volunteered to go to the aquarium yeah. and so it was like me my mom and a bunch of the kids and we were singing baby beluga as we were looking at the belugas baby beluga. the aquariums are always so, so fun uh, we haven't we should go to an aquarium you should honey i don't know if there's an aquarium near us one thing I've been trying to do is do more fun things after work because I feel like, ugh, like life is too short, man. <laughs> <laughs> but that's true. Right? Uno vive la vida ya. Yeah. I love that. That was such a cute little video. Una memoria así, David, como con su papá. English, su honey, English. A memory, David, from with your dad or your mom. I have to say it in Spanish first and then yeah. say it. Okay. He knows English. Okay, fine, God. A memory. Um, Gotta search the camera. An iconic memory. An iconic memory. Wrong camera. <laughs> Wrong camera. Wrong camera. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry guys, I'm so new. Switch on. <laughs> I, I don't know what happened with my camera. Okay, I'll fix it. Okay, okay. Keep talking. Keep talking. Though. Okay, well, continue. I'll continue finale, talking. Finale. I remember with my with my dad, they made me a a a beautiful happy birthday with Barney. <laughs> Seriously, they bring Barney. Barney? Man. Yeah, I'm so happy for that. I'm just That's enjoy it so too much. That's so cute. What the heck? You'll never forget that. I never forget that. Oh, Barney. I used to love Barney. 
<clears throat> my dad would be like, ese hombre con ese culo tan grande. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what? Because he has such a big ass. Because my dad would take me to like Disney and he's like, yeah. I love Barney. But like, Barney wasn't at Disney. He was back in my day. Really? Yeah. Well. They had Barney, the whole like, um, the street. What do you call these people? The, the street. I have pictures with Barney at Disney. So he was there. Oh, well, I didn't yeah. know that. <clears throat> <clears throat> Anyways, a big fan. you know who wasn't having a good time? Who? This man on this TikTok. The show. On a scale of one to ten, how much do you like coming to Costco with your wife? Zero. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. You know, surprisingly, I really like doing <laughs> mundane things with you, Natalie. Like, I like... Kim Kardashian! What the hell? <laughs> Michaela, what the hell? Uh, <laughs> I like doing things like everyday stuff, like shopping. And you so, do. like, obviously, that guy wasn't having a good time, and he said zero. But was going to Sam's and like, or like Walmart with you is like really fun. He didn't even hesitate. He's zero. Like, zero. <laughs> is there anything that you do with me that you don't like doing? Fucking shopping. Don't take me shopping. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be there. I hate looking at clothes. I hate going to the mall. And why is my camera blurry, guys? <laughs> It's focusing on Kim Kardashian. What is it? Why? Why? Are, it's focusing on the wall. There you go. Okay. Cool. Now I got you. Um. Yeah, I don't like that. And oh my god, I just have to admit this. One time, I made the terrible choice to get in the car with your parents <clears throat> instead of my parents. We were all going to Miami. My God. We took forever. Your dad would stop at every Duncan. You know how many Duncans we stopped at? <laughs> I was calling my mom. They're already at Miami. They're like, Natalie, where are you guys? I'm like, in a Duncan. It was like the fifth Duncan. No way it was five. It Duncan. was. No. I no. was so irritated because everybody was already in the pool. And I was like, I'm never driving here with them again. It's like, ay, paramos aquí para un cabecito. <laughs> sí, sí. Uh, that, that was the worst. That we. Any situation that you like, you get dragged into and you don't like doing? Oh my God, look at this. Oh, ew. The shirt. No, 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 I'm not wearing this shirt. <laughs> it's sweat. It's mm. hot in here. That's crazy. Guys, I'm melting. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> okay. One day I. Ponga su camera. Okay, we. It's in green screen because <laughs> I don't know what happened. Okay. One day I was travel with my family for my farm. It's like four hours. <laughs> that sounds like a little kid from El Pueblo. <laughs> yeah, and I go in a always me. Siempre me mareo muy fácil. Oh, you get dizzy. So you are, easy in a travel. It's so. definitely in your family. Dennis gets so dizzy. I too. get terribly dizzy. <clears throat> I've never been on a boat. Or a cruise, but something tells me that if I got on a cruise, I, I would fucking, I'd die. Oh, no, sucks. cruise is so fun. Oh, you've been on one? Oh, I wish. <laughs> 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 you, you've dreamed of, of cruises. Cruise is so fun. That's funny. Have you been on one? I would. What was the question, honey? Just like stuff when you get dragged along and you don't enjoy it. <sighs> That's got to be that. We, we have another problem. Diga what? La camara tres ya con. ¿Cuál es la tres? Yours, come on. <laughs> oh. No. Keep talking. I'm not going to edit this shit. Go. Talk. Keep talking. Hey, Donnelly. Who you are? What is your story like? How you start making videos? Oh, that's these deep videos? ass question. How that you be, start make videos? Why don't we throw it over to you? Tell okay, us about okay. your girl. Okay. Who you're bringing over girl. tomorrow. Tomorrow we're meeting David's <laughs> girl. So he's always no, like. It's, no, he's my girl. Oh, not your girl? No. Okay. He's. We talking, you know, no, it's like not nothing serious. <gasps> but she she is like pressuring me. She's pressuring you? Yeah. To to date her? Yeah, to to like be boyfriend and girlfriend. You know, it's hard. Like if it's, don't lead don't lead her on. Nah, it's really hard to say. Why don't you want a relationship right now? <sighs> relationship is is too hard. Why? What makes it hard? Don't make don't make hard, but <sighs> I think is I just don't feel prepared for that. So long time I don't have a girlfriend, so I love I like her. She's so pretty. She's so nice, but 
You know who I would date? You know who I'd date? Who? Kim Kardashian. (laughs) (laughs) So (laughs) wrong. What what Dennis? What suggestion did you give me for? ¿Qué qué consejo me daría usted para lo que soy bien? Date her. Well, why not? I would just date her. Okay. And then if it doesn't I work, follow, it doesn't work. I'll, I follow you. Okay. Yeah. And then if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Okay. Pero si no funciona, quizá ya no sean amigos. That that's so bad too because no, but I have a good relation with my ex girlfriends. You know, I don't be like mad. Which I say, okay, we don't work in bad. We can continue talking and be friends. And I don't think that works with everyone. <laughs> yeah, I think no. <laughs> He's a player. <laughs> Natalie, are you the type of person to eat expired stuff or use expired things? Uh, sadly, I think I might have expired makeup. That's exactly where I'm going because this viral video Seriously? of a Kylie Jenner uh, makeup thing. Debbie. Oh my God, I saw this. has mold on it, right? It has quite a bit of mold. It's nasty. So they're spraying it on a petri dish. Maybe. And yep, that's what happens if you use expired makeup. I don't like this because here's the reality. Makeup is so expensive and you can't w- literally utilize it. You know what I mean? Like you won't go through a tub that quickly. But then I also feel like yeah, a lot no, of people sure. have an overabundance of makeup. No, 100%. Don't use moldy makeup. But I, I probably have some bad stuff in there. You probably got to get a little rid of all that yeah, stuff, right? Another thing to do. Well, being a girl is so hard. Yeah, be a girl is so hard. I think it's hard. I don't be. I yeah. don't want to be a girl. What What is hard, guys? Tell me. <laughs> Tell me about all the difficult things that I have to deal with. Period. Period. <laughs> half a baby. <laughs> Keep uh, them coming. <laughs> uh, like be a mother. It's hard be a mother. It is hard. It, cuando uno es una buena mamá, tiene su recompensa. Sí. You know what the worst part about being a woman is? What? In my opinion, it's not feeling safe. Okay. <laughs> I'm serious. No, the way that we respond. Because it's that. true. I get out of the car and it's not because I'm an anxious woman, because I've had moments where guys have done weird things to me in, in the parking lot and I get scared every time I'm like, am I going to get like taken? Like, seriously, I think about that. This. It's the worst. I'm like quickly getting my keys. It's the worst feeling. I hate it. I hate it. So please, guys, anyone listening, take your girl or friends to their car. It's just a scary thing. Take your uh, friends or girl to the car. If you imagine in Colombia, how is that? Mm-hmm. It's really hard for me to imagine that. Wait, can I yeah. say something? Yeah, you can. Okay, because my parents have always said that they don't like it when, uh, you know how Colombian shows, narcos and stuff like that? They're like, it's only showing the bad stuff of Colombia. That's true. So recently on Netflix, there's this new show called Missing. And I'm like reading the caption. It's like an Americanized show. And it's like, this girl gets taken or stuck in Colombia. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> Why are they doing this? <laughs> Why are they doing this to us? Like, what the heck? So it makes it look so bad. I think I remember ask um some kids in school when, you know, when uh, Sin Seno Mi Paraíso and like all these yeah, radical yeah, yeah. shows were coming out, yeah. they were asking me uh, if like Colombia was really like that. I was like, I go every summer. And I mean, I guess there's maybe parts of it, but that was like also a long time ago. Like you can't generalize, you know? So people were afraid to go to Colombia. Sometimes I'm be mad when I say I'm from Colombia and say, ah, oh, Pablo Escobar. <gasps> Bro, I'm, I'm be mad. I think Colombia is. They say that to you? Yeah. In, in Rhode Island school. Oh, really? Pablo Escobar. I feel I I I feel mad because yeah. why we can see like a beautiful part in Colombia. I know everyone knows Colombia for for Pablo Escobar, but if you know a Colombian person, don't say. It. Yeah, don't it, say that. That's no, not well, cool. no, well, there's stereotypes for all sorts of stuff, but like you know. But it doesn't feel good. I would I would vacation to Colombia. Being like being Colombian, I can tell other people, yeah, go vacation to Colombia, but you still got to be careful. Like there are some places that you know. It just depends. I would stay in the major cities. There is this one guy on TikTok who goes to like the really bad areas on purpose. Really? And he's fine. And people but tell like, him don't record. But like it's just not that way. Because I remember, again, it's just like it's this misconception and it generalizes. It really did upset me seeing that show. It's like I have to like look at it for a little bit because it's such an Americanized show. Why are they saying missing in Colombia? 
Like, oh, I, I know, I know which one. That's just kind of weird. It was a weird plot. But they could have picked anywhere, and then they'd have to like. But that was just weird. It just fell off. Like it was like, it's it, not even a Spanish show. It was like, like it's just, <laughs> <laughs> are you doing these? <laughs> are you the one doing? This? Yeah. What the heck? <laughs> okay. Bruh. Anyways, brah. Anyways, brah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, what else you got for us? That, that's it. Well, I, I, we can, def- I want to talk. I just want to talk. Right, um, I have a question for you guys. Go ahead. And tell me. Do you guys say I love you to your guy friends? Sometimes. Yes. <laughs> that's my guy friend calling right there. <laughs> yeah, I say, I say too much. You say friend. too much. Yeah. That's nice. I think it's normal. I'm, yeah. And then this guy over here, Dennis, doesn't think it's normal to say I love you to his guy friends. I don't think I it's say, normal. Sometimes I say, uh, gracias Juanma, te amo. That's it. That's not what I said though. You're 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 kind of changing up my words. I, um, I was having this conversation with one of my friends, and so he he tends to FaceTime uh people, like dudes. And so I never FaceTime anybody that's not Natalie, right? And then I'm like why even call them? Why FaceTime them? Can't you just like text them and see like what's going on or whatever? And he's like, no, nah, I FaceTime my bros. I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> like what do you even say through FaceTime? And so he calls his friend through FaceTime and his friend answers. He's like, yeah, like, he, I don't know. They just had a normal ass conversation, but it was kind of sus. I don't know. I got to say it was a little weird, but whatever. It was not sus. Usted le hace FaceTime los hold, on, hold on, hold on, guys. Hold on. It was not sus. I just wanted to say, that it's okay to have guy friends and be affectionate. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. I just want to fuck a dude. It's coming. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is this shit? What are you doing to me? <laughs> How did that? What What the? Anyways, Dennis is messing with some audio thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell me. Tell okay. Okay. Uh, sometimes it's good to feel affected with yeah, a bo- with a friend because because sometimes you don't have a girlfriend for say like <laughs> and, no sometimes it's good like yeah. tener un friend contarle todo contarle cómo está su vida but y abrazarlo y así no <laughs> I don't know <laughs> dude I'm so sticky like I just yeah. wanna, I'm trying I to pause just it I'm trying to pause it there we oh go my anyways. god that's wildly inappropriate why can I not pause these things anyways David how come you're not showing your camera you have it still going you gotta you gotta switch cameras out you're getting distracted yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry for that <laughs> just be near abuse <laughs> well that's interesting well what about you Natalie with girls do you I love it talking to girls I love so for example when I would go on my retreats there's such like this feminine energy to everyone that you don't sit down with a girl every once in a while and you're like, I really love you, you know, or like you just embrace. Why are you looking? <laughs> don't tell me you're about to put that. No, 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 no. I'm go. serious. There's something really special in like womanhood and even in like brotherhood. <laughs> yeah, it's different. Woman, woman friends is different now. Boyfriends. What are you gay? <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> It was. It's really funny because we saw a t- that specific TikTok a couple oh days ago. God, that's so funny. That's, that's the one. That's the one. That's the one. Can you play? Because that's a. Funny oh my ass god! TikTok. Wait, no, I can't because I'm not on site logged into TikTok. Why are you not? A, if you're it, showing us. TikTok. Anyways, this is a reporter who. Uh, it's like Zimbabwe or You'll some African not, country. You won't be able and to express. It, he has this person on there who's gay, and he the first question he starts in his interview off is. Why are you gay? And then <laughs> since so the, other, funny. the other person literally has no way of responding. It's <laughs> like, like, why are you gay? <laughs> no, you guys have to see it. It's really, really funny. It, it, yeah. So friends. Friends. We have a get together with friends tomorrow. Tomorrow we have a little get together. Yay. Here at our house. I invited some girlfriend. What made you want to do that? I, I was reading the book. Um, How to die with zero. <laughs> which is like how to die with zero money in the bank. Okay. And it was just talking about life experiences. And I realized when we got married, we would always say, Oh honey, we're going to have so many friends over to our house, blah, blah, blah. Zero. Zero. We haven't made a party at our house in quite a while. So it's like, why are we not enjoying these moments? Oh, we did, but we invited, we had a, a Nintendo uh, party yeah. with, with yeah. Grace and Angelica. No, yeah. we did. We did. That one is fine. Yeah. What I'm saying is I feel like being in community is really important. It makes life more fun. 
You know? I, I agree. It's, it is important to be within communities for sure. Yeah. So I wanted to do that. So tomorrow we're having a little Nintendo day. David's bringing his girl. Maybe tomorrow he'll be his girlfriend. We don't know how this whole thing will go down. But uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. How about, because I'm, I'm thinking, I'm, I, Tell me, how often should meetings like that with friends be like every couple weeks or, I mean, there's people who hang out with their friends every day that's one thing i loved about europe is like people are always out they're always like in communion they're always eating with others you know i think it's important or else life gets really lonely and just like monotonous if i could do it every day yeah if i could do it every day i probably would yeah um but nothing like huge just like we're like let's have a meal together you know you bring some stuff i'll bring some stuff that's it it's chill nothing Everybody like here lives so far from each other though that's the only problem yeah i would say once a week is healthy as well i think as the fact that point. i go and play soccer on sundays with the yeah, same people all see, the time like that's really nice. nice see that's nice you have like that like brotherhood in a way and then you guys go get duncan like that's kind of cute like i don't have that i need that dawi has a lot of friends now that's so great dawi was just yeah, out of graduation I, I have i have a lot of friends now but yeah. I think it's because it's the age. Yeah, it's the age. Because it's everyone go out in this age and I have friends for that. Are yeah. we just old, Natalie? No, it just gets it gets more hard because I remember my cousin moved to Colorado. She's always been someone that has a lot of friends. She moved there and she was like, oh, I'm working with a lot of older people. They're already married, they have kids. I'm not in that. And so they none of them want to go out. Like So she's just alone? Not anymore. She eventually met friends. But what I'm saying is our, our age group tends to have more, I guess, quote unquote, responsibilities. And so we don't do as much. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just having fun with the sounds. I got to have some prepared for next time. It's just time. loud. Yeah. I got to lower the volume for next time. I think we're good. How did okay. you feel about today's episode? It was so different. I mean, we had this fight challenge. We had this fight challenge. I did the Michaela thing. Let us know if you enjoyed something a little more chill like this or if you want more like topic based podcasts. And Kim if, Kardashian. And if so, let us know how. I think it could be a mixture of both. I had a lot of fun. Yeah. Tell us more about uh, where they can see us and all that. You could tell them. No, honey, you got to add this. <laughs> Fine. Uh, you can listen to us on Apple Podcasts or Spotify and also be sure to subscribe and comment on YouTube what you thought about today's episode. Be sure to check us out next Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern time and also become a member, which might actually be something currently since this is in two weeks. Uh, we do membership only videos where we respond to your comments and you support us continuing to create awesome videos like this one. Amazing. Thank you for watching. Bye. Peace Bye. out.